and he's uh, sorry and you you are here right uh, yeah yeah i'm here and can, can, okay you you can share your screen okay thank you Okay, and uh, now the final talk of our afternoon session uh, is by Professor Sivkin. Uh, he'll talk us about some numerical implementation of multi-point uh, formulas in inverse problems. Yes, okay. please. Thank you very much. I'm st uh, uh, I'm still not a professor, but thank you. It's, uh, uh, it's just term. Okay. It's the second time. People pay attention. It's just to yeah. it's, it's okay. Uh, okay. Uh, my uh, today's talk uh, is uh, devoted to numerical implementations of multi-point formulas in first problems. Uh, and uh, this talk was uh, pre uh, this talk was uh, uh, performed uh, with uh, Professor Manoik. Uh, so in this talk, uh, we will discuss. Uh, uh, an, a, a, an approach of multi-point formulas uh, for finding of leading coefficients in asymptotic expansions that arise in potential land scattering theories. Uh, uh, in particular, uh, we uh, implement different formulas for finding the Fourier transform of potential from a scattering uh, amplitude at several high energies. Uh, this talk uh, is uh, uh, contains two parts. Uh, in the first part, uh, we will discuss uh, the abstract multipoint formulas and in the second part we will discuss the applications of multipoint formulas to uh, inverse scattering theory. Uh, okay, let us start from abstract formulas. Uh, in principle, uh, multiple, uh, 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 multiple expansion uh, or uh, uh, some is somewhat uh, uh, about Laurent's uh, series uh, 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 appears uh, when we uh, we study a function z that, that uh, has uh, the uh, the following expansion. Uh, here uh, we uh, uh, we should know that the function z uh, is uh, is known, and uh, we are interested <clears throat> in the leading. Uh, a one or maybe uh, or, or in several uh, leading coefficients, and our goal is to uh, recover, uh, uh, for example, the the first coefficient uh, with uh, the high accuracy starting from uh, several several uh, values of function z. Uh, uh, okay, for example, uh, let us consider the function z of the following form, and uh, uh, we suppose that uh, we have uh, function z given at endpoints s plus tau 1, s plus tau 2, and, and so on. Uh, here, uh, uh, s is a parameter with, uh, which tends to infinity, while uh, 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 coefficients tau uh, are fixed. Uh, of course, uh, if we have function z, the simplest reconstruction is just to take uh, the value of, for example, uh, a1 is, is just a value of function z uh, in some point. Uh, but if we can, if we take the following formula, we can see that uh, the error, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, decaying rate of the error is quite slow. Uh, so error is uh, quite big, and uh, the idea of uh, Professor Novikov uh, was the following: uh, one can uh, one can use uh, several points uh, to reconstruct uh, leading coefficient and a one uh, with uh, high accuracy. Uh, uh, formulas three are exact. You can see that we can reconstruct uh, formula a one. Uh, starting from uh, n values uh, of our function z. And the formula is quite simple. It's just a weighted sum uh, where uh, coefficients uh, yj are uh, 
uh, are explicit and the uh, coefficients of ij can be uh, calculated uh, starting from the geometry points. Uh, and then we uh, can reconstruct a one with a, uh, with a uh, high accuracy. Uh, here we can see that uh, n small is a, is the number of points. So we, uh, the uh, uh, error rate uh, uh, is just in the quantity of points. Uh, okay, uh, these formulas are nice, and uh, in principle, these formulas uh, can produce uh, a lot of uh, produce a lot of new results uh, in inverse pro uh, in inverse problems, but uh, uh, unfortunately, they appeared uh, to be unstable to noise. Uh, in fact, it uh, it is quite obvious. Uh, we can see that uh, if uh, if n is at least two, then uh, the coefficients of i j uh, grows when s grows, uh, and these coefficients uh, change uh, the sign. They are, excuse, they... excuse me. What uh, what does it mean? Unstable to noise. What? Uh, okay. Uh, if we have uh, some noise le uh, level in function z. Uh, okay, you can see here. Uh, okay, if we know, uh, know uh, uh, functions that uh, up to some uh, noise level, uh, then uh, the result uh, and so uh, let us assume that we have function z with uh, a certain uh, noise level and uh, we study the dispersion of the uh, of this formula of, of, of this function uh, of the uh, of this formula uh, it is uh, uh, if if we assume that uh, this uh, this error is independent uh, and identically distributed uh, then the dispersion of reconstruction uh, uh, grows rapidly for uh, uh -huh. high, uh, higher uh, for high s even uh, even for small n uh, of course, you, uh, you can say that, uh, okay, if n, n is 1, then uh, the dispersion is uh, fixed, but uh, the case uh, where n is 1 is a trivial case, and if we take at least 2, uh, n at least 2, then uh, we see that the dispersion grows, uh, uh, grows very rapidly. Uh -huh. uh, here we, uh, you can see the, this picture. Uh, we studied, uh, we take, uh, take a function z of s is just s over s plus 1. Uh, so here I, a1 is just uh, 1. And uh, we, we are trying uh, to uh, find this uh, leading coefficient. Uh, in principle, uh, the right, li the right line, uh, line is just a function z. Because here we uh, uh, we say that okay, uh, if we take only one point, then uh, function z, uh, then uh, a1 is uh, approximately uh, uh, is a function z, uh, and uh, if we uh, take more uh, values of function z, then these multi-point formulas uh, give us uh, more accurate results. Uh, the, it's a, it's, you can see uh, here on the left picture. But if we just add some noise level, uh, I guess it's about 1%. Uh, anyway, here you can see the noise level of the initial function is it's not so high. Uh, and uh, if we proceed uh, to uh, two or three point formulas, uh, then uh, we can see that the noise level here, uh, the oscillations here are uh, uh, much bigger than uh, than uh, on the initial function, but the uh, but uh, it's 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 not a, a very big problem. The the most important problem is that the oscillations in uh, on the left part of the picture are much smaller than the oscillations on the right part of the picture. It, uh, it means that if uh, S grows, uh, then uh, the dispersion the dispersion grows very rapidly, even for uh, even if we use uh, only two or three um, uh, points in our multi-point formulas. Uh, so uh, and of course we know that in inverse problems, 
it's a typical situation when the data given with some uh, noise level, and uh, we uh, 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 and we uh, we studied uh, how to modify uh, and we want to modify our formulas in order to obtain uh, some uh, more stable reconstructions. Uh, okay, our idea was the following: uh, we uh, had to uh, modify the uh, coefficients y j uh, with a, with uh, some regularization parameter r uh, in order to obtain uh, more stable formulas. Uh, uh, here we use the r is just norm of the vector y. Uh, indeed, uh, if uh, the norm of vector is bounded, then the dispersion of the resulting sum is bounded uh, with uh, with constant r. Uh, so uh, r is just a norm of vector is a uh, uh, is a natural uh, regularization parameter. And uh, of course, we can see that uh, this regularization parameter is uh, 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 lies uh, inside the, uh, the the following interval. Okay, but uh, uh, you uh, you can say okay, uh, we uh, we have a lot of vectors uh, y that uh, uh, that are bounded uh, with a norm. Are, uh, which of them we have to choose uh, in order to obtain the better regularization? Uh, and it, uh, this is a, a good question. And uh, in principle, here we, we can uh, use different approaches. And uh, here we, we use the, the most general approach, uh, the, the case when uh, we have no information about uh, our, we have no a priori information about our function uh, z and uh, uh, okay what we do uh, excuse me could yeah. you show previous uh, what is regularization how does it work what is uh, y r1 y r n how how do you choose it uh, okay it's, it's it's on the next slide okay uh, if we uh, consider the uh, exact formulas, we can see that, uh, uh, formula six, for example, uh, we can see that uh, this sum uh, is uh, uh, contains uh, the leading constant term, then there is no uh, uh, slow decaying term, and here we can see only the, the resting, uh, the rest uh, uh, rapidly decaying term. Uh, formula, uh, if we uh, uh, take the expansion of function z uh, and uh, insert uh, in this formulas, in this formula, uh, we, uh, we obtain uh, that uh, formula 6 uh, became the, uh, became the system of uh, equations uh, on, uh, on parameters yj, such that uh, uh, and the system uh, means that uh, the first coefficient is uh, just constant. Then uh, the, the next uh, uh, slow convergent uh, terms are equal to zero, and uh, uh, non-zero term are only very small. Uh, in principle, uh, it also means that uh, 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 we consider a family uh, of uh, multi-point formulas, uh, uh, for example, from uh, from one point, from two point, etc., from from k point, uh, such uh, and uh, and for every uh, uh, for every uh, k from one to n, we consider the. Uh, 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 the orthogonal projection uh, on the uh, 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 we can see the linear uh, the orthogonal projection uh, for uh, uh, for the uh, uh, li uh, linear set uh, that uh, that uh, nullify uh, only the uh, 
the load, uh, the first load decaying terms. Uh, and um, uh, um, you can see that if we have to, we had uh, the, if we had uh, the exact vector y, then we uh, uh, consider the uh, 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 the uh, the project uh, the projections p k of our vector uh, to the uh, orthogonal projector uh, p k and uh, uh, this. Uh, 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 these uh, projections uh, are, are good in the sense that uh, uh, in, uh, that uh, uh, if we in this formula replace a vector uh, y by its projection, uh, then uh, this sum uh, contains uh, here we have a constant uh, and uh, here we have plus uh, all uh, of s to the power minus k, not minus n, but minus k. Uh, so uh, uh, some soft, uh, more soft uh, uh, resulting sum, sums, and uh, therefore uh, we obtain the uh, we obtain the, uh, n uh, vectors uh, uh, n projections uh, of our vector y uh, the 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 last projection projection is just a vector y, and the first projection is just an uh, exp uh, uh, some explicit, explicit vector. Uh, and so here we obtain a family of vectors uh, with uh, uh, decay norms. Uh, and once we obtain the uh, uh, these uh, uh, vectors, uh, we uh, uh, introduce the broken line uh, uh, starting from these vectors, uh, uh, these projections, and uh, our re regularization is just the intersection of uh, this broken line uh, and uh, the sphere of uh, with radius r. Uh, and in fact, in fact, it's uh, it's our uh, 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 it's our uh, regularized vector. And why this vector uh, is interesting? Uh, okay, if we take this regularized uh, vector and if we replace uh, uh, coefficients uh, y in this formula by the coefficients of regularized vector, then the uh, resulting sum, uh, uh, then the resulting sum uh, has no uh, the first uh, 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 the, the first, uh, uh, the, uh, the biggest uh, terms that contains uh, denominator, uh, denominator, denominators uh, s, 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 s squared, and so on. Uh, okay. Um, uh, anyway, uh, if we use this, uh, uh, let us go to our example. Uh, if we, uh, if we, if we take uh, our uh, our formulas, uh, the same formulas, and we introduce some regularization parameter, uh, then we can see that um, that the re result of regularization is not so exact uh, as for not regularized reconstruction. But uh, here we can see that the uh, noise level uh, in uh, in regularization uh, it, uh, is bounded. Uh, in principle, I I would say that uh, if we uh, uh, take this picture for exact data and we take uh, the bigger S, uh, of course, uh, all these lines, uh, uh, if we take the very, very large values of S, then uh, our regularization becomes uh, 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 one point formula, so they became tri trivial at uh, very high level of parameter s. Uh, but um, if the parameter s is bounded, our regularization can produce uh, new interesting formulas. Um, uh, okay, that's uh, that's about um, uh, regularization. Uh, so in principle. Uh, 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 what's about uh, 
numerical implementations. I would say that uh, uh, this approach uh, is, uh, you can see that uh, this approach uh, uh, can be implemented on uh, the computer. Uh, and uh, this, this approach uh, appears to be uh, 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 to be working for uh, for this uh, in the performance. Uh, okay, oh, uh, now uh, let me uh, uh, go to the second part. Uh, now I want to give you some examples of uh, multi point formulas. Uh, the first example uh, is it's not a scattering theory. It's it's just example uh, from the other field. Uh, Okay, uh, if we assume the electrical or gravitational field uh, with uh, potential rho, uh, then uh, the potential of um, electrical or gravitational field, field uh, admits uh, multiple expansion, and the leading term uh, is the total charge uh, of the uh, of the system. Uh, okay, but um, uh, and now I want to proceed to implications uh, in inverse scattering. Uh, we, um, uh, here uh, we are focused uh, in, uh, on the stationary shielding regulation uh, uh, with uh, uh, scattering potential V and uh, the energy level E. And uh, uh, we are focused uh, on the solutions that describe the scattering of planar array. Uh, we consider solutions Psi plus, uh, and uh, we are also interested uh, in uh, coefficient in the leading spherical wave and uh, in the scattering amplitude. Uh, and uh, further in the talk, uh, uh, I will show you the uh, uh, multiple expansion uh, that gives the links between uh, scat uh, scattering potential, potential V and the uh, following uh, uh, functions, scattering amplitude, uh, function support plus uh, the, uh, the uh, differential scattering cross-sections uh, or the uh, absolute value of scattering amplitude and uh, with the uh, absolute value of the uh, near field. Uh, okay, and in principle, uh, these functions are uh, uh, the links of these functions is uh, uh, is about the direct and inverse scattering problems uh, in this field, uh, and so uh, in this field. Okay, uh, of course, I, I guess that uh, almost uh, maybe everybody here knows that uh, direct problem can be solved via, for example. Lipman's finger integral equation. And once uh, function psi plus is known, we can uh, reconstruct uh, scattering amplitude via the following formula. Uh, uh, I know that if we uh, consider the case of uh, small uh, scattering potential, uh, then, uh, 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 then uh, uh, total field psi plus is uh, is about exponent, uh, and the scattering amplitude f is about uh, the Fourier transform of, uh, of, uh, of scattering potential. Uh, and uh, if we have uh, uh, scattering potential, uh, then in Born approximation, we can obtain uh, 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 Fourier transform of our potential and uh, then reconstruct uh, our function V. Uh, in principle, this uh, it's a uh, all result of a diff, uh, that claims that a scattering potential, uh, a scattering amplitude is a scattering potential up to up to some uh, error. And here we can uh, we should know that uh, uh, this error is quite large. Here s is a square root of energy, and we can see that this error decays. Um, uh, slow, uh, uh, quite slow as, as energy tends to infinity. Uh, but uh, uh, this result uh, with the following uh, further was um, 
uh, was improved uh, by the uh, by the next generations of mathematics. Uh, for example, uh, in the uh, uh, in the works uh, of Ms. Rose and Lee Fayette, there were results for infinitely smooth potential scattering potential V. Uh, uh, that claimed that uh, scattering amplitude F uh, is uh, uh, is a Fourier transform of our function, and uh, the next term are just uh, uh, multiple uh, expansion terms. Uh, and uh, uh, note also that uh, he this formula can be also written uh, in amplitude in amplitude terms. Uh, uh, here I want uh, to point out that here S is is a energy level, so uh, this uh, uh, this for in this formulas we work with uh, several uh, energy levels, and of course uh, I omitted uh, a lot of arguments, and uh, here we have quite a quite a, a complicated geometry of incident and uh, scattering directions in order to obtain uh, these nice formulas. Uh, but uh, in principle, if we, uh, if we change uh, uh, properly the incident and uh, scattering directions for, uh, for our waves, then we can uh, obtain uh, uh, the Fourier transform of our potential uh, with the, uh, with um, uh, starting from several energy level, levels with a, uh, a higher rate of accuracy. Okay, uh, the next uh, formula is also well known. Uh, it's uh, something about uh, Atkinson Wilson type expansion. Uh, so, uh, uh, this expansion uh, contains uh, uh, more terms than the uh, then, uh, then the first uh, expansion for function psi plus, and here we can see that uh, uh, this expansion uh, at uh, fixed energy level uh, can can give us um, uh, scattering amplitude of uh, function f starting from the values of uh, functions psi plus. And uh, here we can see that it's another approach uh, 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 to the question how how to reconstruct scattering amplitude starting from uh, function of plus. And uh, this approach uh, has now uh, yeah, yeah, some yeah, integrals uh, in contrast uh, to in contrast to this formula. Uh, next, uh, next uh, application of these formulas uh, can be given uh, uh, when we when we study uh, uh, how to reconstruct uh, scattering amplitude starting from the uh, norm of the near field uh, or the function psi plus. Uh, okay, if we have uh, the normal function psi plus, uh, the norm uh, the amplitude of function psi plus is given. Then we uh, proceed to the uh, function A. It's just uh, some, not, uh, some functional combination. Uh, uh, and uh, inter interesting, uh, and uh, uh, this function A uh, for the proper uh, arguments also has an expansion quite similar to the multipoint, uh, multiple expansion expansions. Here we can see also the uh, the sum of the, of the terms. Uh, of course, uh, here uh, we have to know that uh, uh, we uh, we are mostly interested interested in the on the value uh, f one is uh, it, it's just about uh, scattering amplitude the, the first uh, the uh, the first constant in f one. And uh, uh, but this formula is uh, some, somewhat more uh, more complicated. Uh, but uh, uh, but still, uh, in this case, uh, one can uh, obtain uh, somewhat more, more somewhat much more complicated formulas. Uh, 
uh, that uh, can give us uh, scattering amplitude starting uh, from the uh, phaseless, uh, uh, phaseless data of the total field uh, given at uh, several points with a better uh, uh, error level. But um, uh, this, uh, this approach requires somewhat more restrictive conditions on X. Uh, uh, so in the first case, uh, they, they were, uh, on the points, so in the general case, there were no conditions on the geometry of points. But uh, in in this problem, uh, we uh, we have to uh, require some uh, somewhat more uh, restrictive restrictive conditions uh, on on geometry. For example, the points uh, should be equidistant. It's just one of the approaches. Um, okay, and uh, the final example uh, was. Uh, developed by uh, Ifaev and uh, Roman and Liman, uh, was the following. Uh, we will consider the uh, expansion of linear field. Uh, then, uh, um, uh, then it appears, uh, uh, it appears that uh, if uh, we fix uh, uh, the bond uh, in space, and if we change the energy level, then uh, then in the following expansion we can see the uh, is, then in the second term we can see the uh, divergent V transform of our scattering potential V, and uh, this uh, uh, this function uh, is uh, popular in tomography, but is in, not very popular uh, in uh, multi-point formulas. Uh, and here, uh, in the case of these formulas, uh, we can see that uh, multi-point formulas uh, also can be applied for this expansion, and uh, multi-point formulas uh, also improve the, uh, uh, the errors uh, of this uh, approach. Uh, okay, uh, so let me, uh, let me conclude. Uh, we presented uh, the parts. In the first uh, part, we uh, talked about the uh, numerical implementations uh, of abstract multi-point formulas. And uh, in the second part, we, uh, uh, we, presented, uh, new uh, uh, we presented a list of, uh, uh, of problems where uh, this, uh, these multi-point formulas Produce uh, directly produce uh, new uh, uh, theoretical results. Okay, thank you for your attention. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Vladimir. And uh, let us just thank our speaker. And uh, if anybody has any questions or comments, please welcome. May I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. The title of the talk uh, promised, uh, promises uh, numerical implementation of multi-point formulas. And where, where is numerical re results on reconstruction of potential by these formulas? Um, <laughs> well, uh, okay, I didn't uh, edit the slides. Okay, in principle, I want to say that uh, uh, I did the experiments for uh, for, uh, for which problem? Uh, for this problem, uh, for uh, uh, for formula twenty one, and for uh, this uh, this formula, we obtained a new uh, we obtained pictures we, uh, where we can see that uh, this uh, uh, multi point formulas uh, gives us. Uh, you better results. Uh, yeah, but uh, I didn't uh, edit the, the picture. But uh, maybe you can uh, close this file and to show this picture, uh, it will uh, take uh, not so much time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm.
One more question is that uh, by this technique, you recover not the potential, but it's Fourier transform, right? Yes, and, yes. Uh, does, do, does it complicate uh, the procedure? Uh, I, I mean, if you, uh, however, no, if you, if you, if you find uh, Fourier transform in more and more exact form, then okay, the, the potential also will be will be determined more and more accurately. Yes, it's clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, let me first of all show you a picture. Um, okay, in, in fact, it's it's also a good question how to reconstruct uh, function uh, from its Fourier transform. Uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, here on the picture you can see the uh, examples uh, of uh, implementations for uh, uh, implementations uh, where we uh, reconstruct the, the amplitude of Fourier transform uh, at uh, one energy level, two energy levels, yeah? and uh, three energy levels. Uh, we, here we use exact data. Uh, and, uh, and the, the, the first the first picture is the, the test. Where is it? Ah. Uh, OK, uh, here you, you compare, can... I mean, the hmm? test and the reconstruction. Just ah, well, here, oh, OK, uh, here, OK, it's the, the best picture. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh, here, here we use uh, uh, two. Uh, okay, the exact uh, picture is given. Uh, for example, here. Uh, he, here we can see the uh, amplitude of uh, Fourier transform of our function, and we uh, uh, reconstruct this picture starting from uh, starting from. Uh, from the phase uh, 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 from the uh, phaseless scattering amplitude given at uh, two and three points. Uh, okay, if we have the uh, case of exact data, then uh, the two point uh, then the three point reconstruction is better than the two point reconstruction, but uh, it, you can maybe speculate about it, but if we add some noise level, then we can see that direct uh, three-point uh, formulas uh, are, are not interesting for reconstruction. So if we add some noise level, then this uh, the two-point uh, uh, reconstruction is uh, uh, gives us uh, some information, let us say. Uh, but uh, if we use a three-point reconstruction, then then this uh, then this uh, formulas give. I think there is no information about potential. But uh, if we add uh, some regularization, then the result of uh, regularization uh, becomes better. And here we can see that uh, three-point formulas uh, formula with regularization may be uh, even better than uh, the three-point formula without regularization, even for exact data. Uh, okay, but here maybe uh, one can speculate. Uh, okay, these pictures show that um, uh, these multi-point formulas are used for, for one of these uh, inverse problems. Uh, and they, here we can see that uh, regular, our regularization approach works uh, at least for three points. Um, okay, thank you. Very nice pictures. Okay, and what about uh, how to reconstruct uh, function starting from its Fourier transform? Uh, in, in principle, it, uh, is, in, in fact, it's, it's a good question because uh, of course, if a function, if uh, 
uh, is infinitely smooth, uh, then uh, uh, we have to uh, know the Fourier transform on just a uh, fig, uh, on just a small uh, ball. But if our function has some uh, uh, is not smooth, then uh, then uh, even if we know if we know exactly our Fourier uh -huh. Uh -huh. on the ball, then there is there is no exact result. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And any other questions or comments, please. Uh, I have one technical question. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so, please, uh, could you please explain how it follows from Formula 21, the Formula maybe 22 or 23, I don't know. Okay, let me show Formula 22. Yeah, so, you, you, oh, okay, 21 and 22. So, it's other compatible. So, the coefficients A, J, and the uh, in 22, are they the same age? I don't know. Of course, uh, they are not the same, of course. Uh, I just use the same uh, uh, terms in order to simplify the. Uh, so, simplify, but, but of course, if we have, other other coefficients, yeah, 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 but they they, uh, they there is a link between these coefficients. Uh, if we just uh, multiply this formula, but by mm -hmm. uh, its yeah. uh, okay. version, then we obtain the, this formula, this uh, expansion. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, if no questions, then we can thank our speaker again. And uh, 